I don't think so because Rafael is a bogus issue. There is no 30,000 crores to give it away. Just the other day, Rahul Gandhi made a statement that uh, Modi has taken money from the people of uh, Andhra Pradesh to give it away. If uh, people of Andhra Pradesh had that money, Babu would have taken the money. Babu says he has got no money, so where did the money come from? It's all a lie that's being done because they want to throw some dirt on the Narendra Modi government and hope it sticks. Rafael is a G2G deal. It is a deal between the government of France and the government of India. Sure. All right? And then the government of France has nominated its public sector units, which are Rafael, uh, Dassault, and uh, which is uh, Thales and others, and they are supplying. Sure. And under the contract, you are supposed to have an offset of 30,000 crores. Offset means what? I give you a business, part of that business that you do, you should do business in India and buy from us. It's just a bargain. Okay, it is an arm's length transaction. Now, what about the price? Even the Hindu, the most extreme leftist rag, led by that Yen Ram, who is a communist, has said very clearly, India got a better price, from 576 crores, 9% discount. So, that there's nothing about the price. Okay. Second thing, the contention is, oh, you know, they paid more money for the others. Yes, they paid some 1,500, 1,600 crores because they include missiles, missiles. Now, the list of missiles, what is the addition? We should not give, but that has been done. Now, the data has given that when Qatar bought 24 aircraft, they paid more. Mm -hmm. Now, is the price more? I don't think the price is more. It was negotiated well and there's no scope. Nobody the less so much, so and so took money and so and so took money. All the allegation is, oh, you, Modi decided. Yes, Modi and the Prime Minister of uh, France met and they said we should accelerate this and the other day some, some controversy came about some paper where they said oh, it should not a double negotiation. The person who headed the defense secretary has clarified that uh, the negotiation was about solve guarantees and others, nothing about the price. And the Air Force head, head Force head has clarified also that is the best price that you got, it's got nothing to do with just because somebody writes it. And the Ram and the Hindu played a fraud on everybody when they didn't give the full paper. They only gave a small piece of paper. They didn't give the writings of Manohar Parikar there, which is part of the paper. So it is a hit job. It's a con job and a hit job. And as for 30,000 crores being given to the thing, there's no 30,000 crores, it has not been given. Now, the truth is that the out offset has not been declared. When the deal is over and delivered, the vendors have to declare, I will do give you 30,000 crore offset, I will do business. Who are the people? Now, the salt, Rafael, the salt, or Thales have not declared who is their business. They have not said who. Now, Rafael has got a the salt, that's a company, has got a JV with Reliance. What is the JV? Is the 49% holding by the salt, 51% by Anil Amani Group. All right. Now, why did they pick Anil Amani? They picked Anil Amani because Anil Amani probably came and said, "I want to work with you." I don't think anything else is there. Now, why did they hold 49% because of the policy? Tomorrow, if the government says you can hold 100%, I'm sure they'll buy off uh, Anil Amani hold 100%. And you know, the, the government says you can have 51%, they'll have 51%. It is only a means to get somebody here. For example, Amazon. Yeah. Amazon has got an organization called Cloudtail. Cloudtail is now won 76% as per principle by Indian investors. But who controls this? Amazon controls it. So who controls the JV? The, it's controlled by Rafal. What are they doing? They're building some components for the Falcon jet and everything else. Now, does it show that money has given? That's stupid. And the, the salt has said there will be only 800 crores of revenue over the 10 years. And now 800 crores, how much profit will you earn? 5%, 10%? It's so peanuts. Where's the 30,000 crores? It's all a bogus argument. I think the only thing is the government should explain it better. Yes. They're not explaining it better. They're becoming defensive. I wish they create a white paper with everything else. Now, IR Averell in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Twitter has given all the details and all the things. It's available in the public domain. And young people know how to go to the internet, they do all that. So I don't think, they'll keep blabbering about it, they keep talking about it, I don't think so. Because look at Narendra, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, he has no family, he has no children who will come into power. Now there's another party which has got five generations of people in power. Now one more person wants to come into power, they live in privilege, they live in uh, Lutyens Delhi for the last 35, 40 years and we are paying for that. We are paying for the houses, we are paying for security, we are paying, they're living at our cost. And we are taxpayers, the poorest of the poor are paying to keep them in luxury. They are coming and talking about all this, okay? Yeah. And now look at, has he made any, anything? Nothing. The man lives simply. When he came from Gujarat to Delhi, he gave away all his money. He had a zero bank balance. And I met him once and before the election and asked him, what will happen if we don't lose the election? He said, if we lose the election in 2014. So he told me, you know, if I lose the election, I'll go back to what I'm doing. I got no house. I'm uh, traveling all over like a traveling uh, holy man. I'll go to somebody's house, they'll give me food. I got no property, I will leave. I will, then he told me, laughing, Are bhai, chai, chai what is that? <laughs> See, but I wanted to understand the concept. 
I believe Prime Minister Modi is a patriot, is a nationalist. Whole life is devoted to this country. I'd rather have a Prime Minister of India who is a patriot, who is nationalist, who works for me 16, 18 hours a day, devotes his whole life, who is not corruptible, who has integrity, who will stand up for this country and hold the flag high than anybody who thinks that running politics is a business, is a family business, or anybody who is opportunistic. So to me, I don't think this Rafael issue is all bogus. I don't see any reality. There's no data to prove that there's been any corruption. It's just being propped up.